Seoul, North Korea will send a delegation led by Kim Yong Chol, a former spymaster subject to both South Korean and U.S. sanctions, to attend Sunday's closing ceremony of the Winter Olympics, and the group plans to meet with President Moon Jae-in. Ri Sung-won, who heads North Korea's Committee for the Peaceful Reunification of the Fatherland, and six staffers will also travel to the South, Seoul's Unification Ministry said Thursday. An official in the presidential Blue House revealed the plans for the meeting with Moon. Kim serves as a vice chairman of the Central Committee of the Ruling Workers' Party of Korea. He also leads the United Front Department, the agency in charge of inter-Korean affairs. A meeting is possible between Kim and Soo Hoon, the director of South Korea's National Intelligence Service. Kim is suspected of playing a key role in the sinking of the South Korean naval vessel Jeonan and the shelling of the border island of Yunpyeong in 2010, when he led North Korea's spy agency. Seoul is discussing the visit with Washington, as Kim is also a target of U.S. sanctions, the Blue House official said. The delegation's trip should help advance the process of settling peace on the Korean peninsula including the improvement of inter-Korean relations and denuclearization, the unification ministry said. The North Korean delegation to February 9th opening ceremony was headed by Kim Jong-un's sister Kim Yo-jong and nominal head of state Kim Yong-nam. They met with Moon and urged the South Korean president to visit the North. Kim yong kols trip could bolster high-level communications between the Koreas. But some observers expect the military hawk to demand that South Korea cancel its joint exercises with the U.S. These exercises have been postponed until after the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Some also think Pyongyang wants to undermine sanctions by sending Kim. South Korea's opposition Liberty Korea Party argued in a statement Thursday that the alleged mastermind behind the sinking of the Cheonan must not be allowed on South Korean soil unless he intends to kneel before the country's people. The American delegation will be led by President Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump. She is scheduled to dine with Moon on Friday and will watch some Olympic events in Pyeongchang before attending the closing ceremony. Ivanka Trump has no official plans to meet the North Korean delegates, according to a Blue House official and U.S. media. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence was to meet with Kim Yo-jong and other North Korean officials when he attended the opening ceremony, but Pyongyang backed out at the last minute, Trump administration officials said this week.